All right, um, so ladies and gentlemen, to go through about a reflection, the first thing we have to do, and they gave each and every one of you a coordinate grid to go and um, graph, this, graph this figure. So let's go ahead and graph the points that were given. All right, so remember we have a y-axis and we have an x-axis. And then if I want to point my points, I'm, when, I, when I plot my points, make sure you label them. Just don't put points up there and say, oh, I'm done. Make sure you label each and every one of these points. So I have first point, first point is 0, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to call that D. Next point is over 1, up 3. That's going to be E. And then I have F, which is 3, up 3. So that's F. I guess I'll maybe make E a little bit smaller. And then I have G, which is 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 3. OK? So the first thing I did was I plotted those points. All right. Now what they're asking you guys to do is to determine the reflection of the y-axis. Now, if you guys want to take this figure and try to reflect it over the y-axis and then graph that, that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. The best way I could say to do that is determine the distance from the y-axis. See here, it only has a distance of 1. So if I reflect this over the y-axis, my new point's going to be 1 to the left. right? And this has a distance of 1, 2, 3. So now if I reflect that over the y-axis, it's now going to have a distance of 1, 2, 3. And remember, when we reflect points, we call them, you know, we, we have the prime symbol to, to represent that it's a transformation. Now, you could do that with each one of these, but that's also going to cause sometimes for you guys to get, um, that's also going to cause a lot of times for you guys to make mistakes. So what I also prefer, if you guys remember, when we have a reflection of the y-axis, in your notes, I told you what to do with each and every one of these points. And the rule goes, if I have a point x comma y, and I'm going to reflect over the y-axis, now the only thing that's going to change is going to be the sign of my x-coordinate. All right, so therefore you guys can see that my new points, f prime is going to be negative 3 comma 3, g prime is going to be negative 4 negative 3, d prime is going to be 0 negative 3 because 0 cannot be positive and negative, and e is going to be negative 1 comma 3. And you guys can see how I already graphed e and f. Now my g will be negative 4 negative 3. And D is going to be the exact same point. Oh, that's supposed to be 4. No wonder. OK. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, now you can see the reflection over the y-axis. Anybody have any questions? Good? Yes. OK.